Hello, I'm Josh Huang at the Cosmin Harbor Laboratory. In this September issue of Neuron, we report new strategies and tools that will substantially increase the specificity of targeting different types of garbage neurons in the mouse brain. When Ramonio Cajal discovered that individual neurons or nerve cells were the basic building blocks of the nervous system using the Golgi stand more than a century ago, he simultaneously revealed the tremendously diverse shape or kinds of nerve cells in each regions of the brain he laid his eyes upon. Since then, this uh, diversity and heterogeneity has been the enduring theme that further manifests at the physiological, molecular, and functional levels revealed by subsequent and contemporary techniques. Today, the problem of uh, neuronal identity and diversity is recognized as the number one priority of the U.S. Brain Initiative toward understanding functional organization of neural circuits. So in our mind, identifying different and specific cell types in circuit neuroscience is of similar importance to cloning genes in genetics, both aimed at finding the basic units of the system. So the problem of cell type is particularly challenging in complex brain circuits, such as uh, the cerebral cortex. For example, the garbage neuron have various phenotypes that vary in multiple axes, making it very difficult to distinguish and define cell types. So many people believe that genetic methods are very useful for targeting cell types, as gene expression profiles may underlie, in fact, cell phenotypes. However, a uh, conundrum is that there is often no simple correlation between one gene and individual cell types. It is likely that the combination of multiple genes may better define cell types. On the other hand, uh, there is major practical limitations in the number of genes that can be used for cell targeting, uh, mouse engineering, and breeding. Therefore, it remains unclear to what extent genetic methods can truly achieve uh, sufficient specificity in targeting cell types. So the good news in this paper is that we have developed new combinatorial methods and tools and demonstrate that is, in fact, it is feasible to substantially increase the specificity of targeting cell types using only two to three genes. And the key strategy is not simply to use the overlapping pattern of two to three genes, but to further uh, leverage these expression patterns to engage a series of uh, cell-defining features, such as their lineage, uh, their time of birth, and their anatomy by using viral vectors. Another strategy is that the combination of genes uh, can be genes that are e expressed at different stages of the cell's lifespan. For example, uh, early expressing gene in a set of neuroprogenitors define a lineage, and a late expressing gene uh, in a set of mature cells, each are not specific, but the combination can be highly specific. So uh, this will substantially increase the uh, versatility and the possibility of uh, combinatorial targeting. Uh, another important point is the combination of genetic and viral methods. Genetic restriction plus the uh, viral-based anatomical restriction is probably the most promising methods to achieve what we call bona fide cell type such as chandelier cells. And we believe uh, there will be more such successful examples. So with this uh, success, with this progress, we are more optimistic to target increasingly more specific cell types uh, in the mouse brain and in a more systematic way.